What's up guys, Evil Deer here, welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you're seeing a video on this channel, I do in fact speak a made up language. That title is not clickbait. For those who are regular viewers of my channel, you already know this because you've probably seen hundreds of videos of me speaking this language. So what brought on this video? Well, I was on YouTube and I was watching random videos and then one was promoted to me which basically said I'm speaking a random language. And it was a guy in the street, he's walking around and he's pranking people by speaking to them in some made up European language and trying to ask them questions and stuff and just like recording his experiences. And as I was watching that, I was thinking, you know what? I speak an actual made up language, Esperanto. But this isn't just something that I made up. This is a language that's over a hundred years old it's got a massive culture, possibly a few million speakers around the world, but by all intents and purposes, it is a made up language. It was created over a hundred years ago by an individual and then it spread and developed its own culture. So if you guys are interested in that, totally sub to the channel and I'll drop more videos on this culture and this community. But anyway, I wanted to get back to the core of what he was doing. He's going around, he's randomly asking people in this made up language. Well, Esperanto, the language I speak, is actually a mixture of all the European languages, plus like a little bit from other locations. So as he was doing that, I was reminded of my time when I was in Europe, and I don't speak Italian, French, German, any of these languages, and lots of places I went to, especially in Italy, people didn't speak English. There's this like a trope that everyone speaks English everywhere, and when I hit Europe, it was actually really obvious that lots of people don't. And I remembered I was at one point in Italy, and Esperanto is kind of based on the romance languages, especially the word stock of it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try use Esperanto to get around, because I've been using English. I'll try English first. If they don't know that, I'll use Esperanto, which is this made up language, this constructed language. So I remember I was standing there on the street, and like I was asking this guy how to get to this location on a map and he was giving me directions in Italian and as I was listening I was catching like certain words that he was saying and I was processing them through Esperanto to try and figure out where to go and this actually worked quite a bit funnily enough like apparently Italian has a lot of similar words with Esperanto obviously other times I'd use English but whenever I could I also just tried dropping randomly Esperanto and then it got to the point where this was kind of fun so I just started like asking random people in hotels so I'd just like walk up to them and I'd be like uh chubby parolas Esperanto mi volas trovi you in lock on and they would be like uh what and I'd be like, okay, this person doesn't speak it. And then like, I'd just move on to like trying English. And if I didn't speak that, I'd just be like, oh, okay, you know, I'd like, I'd try some other language, like maybe Chinese or something. So what would happen is we'd travel from around basically the whole of Europe. We went to Italy, Switzerland, Germany, but during our trip, we actually utilized Esperanto by, by finding and seeking out and like speaking with Esperanto speakers. And this trip was like, probably the most fun I've ever had with this made up language. Because when I went to Switzerland, I stayed with a um, old family who had like this house uh, right on the lakes there, you know, like that, that beautiful sight of the lakes type of thing that you see in every Swiss photo. We were literally in this house, we were given the top floor. I'd never met these people before, but I made contacts through the Esperanto speaking community with them. And they're like, hey, why don't you just like couch surf at our place? And they gave us the whole top floor. And then we went to Germany and we stayed with a native Esperanto speaking family. Now you're probably thinking, hey, wait, this is a made up language. What do you mean native speaking family? Well, this language was created over a hundred years ago. And what happened is the original speakers or the learners of this language started passing it on to their kids. And now there's like at least by like a bare minimum standard, a few thousand native speakers. And I stayed with one family, which was a few generations of native speakers. So like, I think it was like the great grandfather like learned it and then taught it to his kids and then they taught it to their kids. And, and then I remember I was in the house and I was seeing these like Esperanto speakers running around like talking with each other and these like little kids as well. And they were completely fluent. This was like a native language for them. And it was quite eye opening because for me, it's a secondary language that I learned out of curiosity a long time before that. Then there's like this little town in, Espr uh, in Germany uh, which is basically called the Esperanto town. It's like a tourism place where you can go and all the signs are in German and in Esperanto. So this made up language is like impacted so many different places around the world in different ways. So when I see that video of someone walking around like, like randomly talking in a made up language, it makes me think, you know what, I'm actually doing that and I do it 
quite often. And in fact, I use it quite often to escape from people who are trying to sell me products. Like there was this one time here in Sydney, I was walking down the street and someone comes up and he's like, hey, you know, we got this great deal, rah, 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 do you want to buy it? And I'm like, oh, me ne parol so And he's like, what, what, what language is that? Do you hablo espanol? You know, he try like Spanish on me and I'm like, oh, me, me ne comprenas. And then he's like, uh, uh, and he'll try, I don't know, he tried some other random languages, it was quite funny, but often I use it to get out of like teleconference calls and stuff, like when people call you and they're like trying to sell you a product, I'll be like, and then they'll be oh okay, and then they'll just hang up instantly, so that would be basically it, but I use a made up language as a part of my daily life. Anyway, if you want to know more about this language, this community, and this is a very unique community, sub to this channel. What I plan to do is often make videos in both English and in Esperanto. The Esperanto ones will be subtitled so that you guys can get a like insight into the Esperanto community itself without, av without having to actually speak the language. And this is a big community. Over a hundred years old, there's at least a couple hundred thousand speakers, possibly a million, a really rich literature. If there's anything particular that interests you, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make a video about that. Anyway, peace out. That's all I wanted to speak of with you guys. Uh, normally in my Esperanto speaking videos, I end them by threatening you guys if you don't come back and watch this video. But since this is the first time you're probably seeing this video, probably not the best idea to threaten you on the first date. Anyway, see you all.